Hi, it's Michael Lafito, author of the book, Luxury Listing Specialist, and I'm the founder of the Lux Designation. In this video, we're gonna talk about conversion and follow-up, how to increase your conversion and how much follow-up is too much or not enough. Yeah, I recently was on a Zoom and I had an agent go on a $3 million listing appointment and she asked me, how much follow-up is too much because they're not responding to us. So uh, bra breaking it back down, I asked her, did you, during the appointment say, what is your preferred method of communication? How would you like us to follow up via phone call, text, or an email? That's number one. And then I like when you end a meeting, whether it be a listing appointment, buyer appointment, or you're talking to somebody else, what's the next steps? Like when should we get back together? Or when should we talk again? So managing their expectations is key. Now I want to talk to you about the, the way you communicate with them, right? So DISC personality, we've talked about DISC, D-I-S-C. D's and I's are, are more fast paced. S's and C's are slower paced. So if you're talking to a D and their bottom line and you're hitting them up on social media and following up with them and too much follow up, they're care, all they care about is results and you might become across as annoying to them and too desperate and you'll turn them off and not get them as a client. So follow up is key, but follow up the way they want to be followed up with, as well as uh, on the timeline that you guys all agreed to. So again, just want to talk to you about that. Again, on DISC personality, Google DISC, find out more information. You should feel really comfortable with DISC DISC. Your conversion will skyrocket and communicate with others the way they want to be communicated to and the frequency you need to establish that. How do you prefer to be communicated with? And what is the next steps? You want me to give you a call? You want me to meet with you? And that's gonna help overall. Bring value when you do reach out to them as well. Don't just reach out with nothing of value. So if you're talking with a buyer, maybe you find them an off-market property and that's an excuse to reach out to them. If you're talking to a seller, Maybe an excuse to reach out to them is a new listing came on the market that could be a competitor to theirs when they're ready to go. So bring value when you do follow up and establish communication and establish timelines. My name is Michael Lafito. Make it a great day and keep raising the bar. If you're getting value from these videos, please leave us a like, leave us a review, and prove others wrong. Take care.